Hi guys, my name is Ola BC. Welcome back. For those that have subscribed, thank you. And for those of you that haven't subscribed, why? Why? Please help the sister subscribe okay all right so i'm going to be just seeing you guys about my proposal okay and um i was having a conversation with some group of friends and they were they were talking about different reactions and all that so i don't remember that actually i didn't have any reaction to my own proposal i, I wasn't crying i wasn't jumping I, I don't know i was just shy all through i was shy all through the proposal till i got back to the room before i was myself right so what happened was 2016 we went to dubai that was after my nyc my my um my boyfriend went to dubai so when we got to dubai after several hours trip because i was tired so i was like ah i'm tired you let's let me go and rest let me go and sleep but he now said that he has to go and get a sim card so that we can reach out to our family our families and and let them know that we're right safely and all that so like okay so no problem you can go let me sleep so i slept and by the time he came back i was already awake and later we had things to do so for the trip we spent like eight days for the trip we had something to do for each day okay so i'm going to show you guys the pictures of all the places we went through <laughs> places each day i don't even have all the pictures of what the places we went to but those are the ones i could get so eventually there was a particular day now saturday because we have something planned for each as i said so saturday there was nothing on saturday and sunday was supposed to be a free day that was a great day because we're leaving on monday morning so we needed a day to arrange and get ourselves um together for the next trip you know so we now i was i was like ah, how come there's nothing for sunday it wasn't like maybe the agent omitted it or something like that that you know what we'll just put anything we want we'll go somewhere and pay and and do whatever it is we want to do on that on that saturday or that. okay no problem so we went to dubai mall yeah and i can remember before we even went to dubai it was asking me that time that is there any place i really like us to go in dubai like because it has feeling days already but it's really getting short of ideas that i should just check any place i think i like so i went online i saw that underwater zoo I was like, oh, it looks very nice and beautiful. I saw the pictures they took. I was like, oh, I was also deciding that what about the water zoo? So I was like, okay, no problem. We'll tell the agent. So, I, and I and I went through the itinerary, like the planned program for each day. And I was like, ah, how come there's no the water zoo? There it was not like that. Maybe the agent will be telling you, that, you know what? On Saturday, we we'll just use the opportunity to go to the water zoo and just pay for it directly and all that. I never knew had other plans. So. We now got on Saturday. We we, we we went to Dubai Mall. So the water is 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 like the center of Dubai Mall. Like it's just any floor you are, you can see that you can see the underwater zoo. Like it's just right there at the center. So and Dubai Mall is very 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 big, guys. It's big like and many people will be there. Like a lot of people. So I remember like I was at the restaurant and he told me he's coming. That I want to go and pay for the place and let them know we're around so that when they're ready to um call us they'll just know we're nearby and all that so they'll tell us when it's our turn i like okay no problem so he left while me i was at the restaurant and i was just enjoying the beautiful view you know so eventually um after like some minutes he came back and he said oh that he has made payment and he said we can come for the tour i have okay no problem so i got up i followed him and she, the part that got him was when all of them were actually greeting him like, like they are just meeting him for the first time they they were all acting the drama like oh nice meeting you know they're oh, nice meeting you and i'm like okay so i greeted them back so the tourist the, the person taking us on the tour she's kenya so she greeted us as well as well and she was now telling us the history of the zoo and telling us oh the thickness of the glass the the quantity of water that is in the place the different species of fish she was saying the history basically so eventually she now mentioned the part. I remember that was the last part I heard before the shock started. So she now said that, oh, that do we know that sharks, that sharks, that once they lose their teeth, they get it back or they grow it back in 24 hours, something like that. So she now showed us the sharks and others. Remember, like, 
Ah, so the shark inside this water. My, I was just thinking in my head like, ah, so I can be this close to shark. <laughs> Eventually, and I saw two people inside the water. And I'm like, okay, what are these people doing with shark? What, why can't be playing with shark? Like, I, I don't know, I guess, I was just thinking that I can human be beside the same water with sharks. I see it in documentaries and in, in movies and all that, but seeing it in real life is different to house. So my mom, like, I was just looking at the two people coming and they were coming towards, like, close to the glass, the view we could see. I'm just going to show you guys the pictures so you can understand better. Just watch the pictures. The people came close and um and i saw them with like a banner i was like ah, these people are too dramatic it's not bad you know that they are, they are playing with sharks <laughs> now they're even with banner also i was sure I, I, I don't know i was just thinking a lot in my mind that's i just saw they were now like trying to afford the banner and, and i saw something like bc like bc ah, what's my name being inside the water <laughs> i don't know <laughs> eventually just like dropped the old banner and i saw will you marry me or, like oh my god like i was so in shock and at the same time shy because i couldn't even look at the person that was proposing to me i couldn't like i'm going to show you guys the pictures of my reaction actually i couldn't look at him because i was so shy and now looking at the audience from each floor <laughs> it was so funny because it's so funny that the only person i knew at my proposal was just the person kneeling, they were kneeling down to propose to me you know, mama proposal these days is more or less like you call family members, um, friends to be around. So you are you are around known people, you know. So you can easily all the flow or something like that. But me, I was like in the midst of many strangers. Like each floor, all of them were like from different floors and clapping. Like oh, you know, people from different countries come to Dubai. So people from different floors were just saying, hey, oh, so sweet, blah blah. They, you know, white people now they like all these kind of things. So they just reacting and saying a lot of things and all that so i couldn't face that audience i was too shy so if you see the picture that i'm going to show you guys soon you see a part where i was even like like my my spouse had to tell me that i should look at him now like i know how to look at him before i collected the ring like i was so damn shy so i wasn't one of those people that was crying i didn't cry i wasn't jumping i was just shy all through i was trying to hide my face it was oh my goodness I never knew I could be that shy <laughs> to that day. Oh my god. So that was my reaction for my proposal, Sha. So I said, let me just come and just think about it. subscribe like and share and click on that notification bell so that every time i post a video you'll be the first to know and don't forget to give me a thumbs up thank you very much guys and see you guys next time bye